Okay, this video is for uh, everyone in the Monday class so we didn't get to meet, so I'm just going to show you briefly what we're going to do for the homework, and then you'll be able to stay on schedule. Um, you remember we're doing the master copy, here it is in the book, the uh, Domier, but you picked whatever you wanted. And we uh, did the charcoal and chalk on tone paper um, copy, and remember we used the we used the known value of the paper to help us determine what the rest of the values were going to be in the piece. So if it was lighter than the paper tone, then it was chalk. If it was darker, it was charcoal, etc. So now we're going to do something somewhat similar as we move into um, the painting part of the master copy. Okay. Let me put this on the tripod here. Um, I want you guys to mix a dark and uh, burnt umber and ultramarine are uh, two good colors to use for that. Um, so mi squeeze out a, a quantity of burnt umber and, um, and then a, a, qu a smaller quantity of the ultramarine blue so that it makes it gray, it makes it dark, but it's a little bit on the warm side. Um, Having a little extra burnt umber will make sure that it kind of it dries faster. Now, you're going to need to mix more um, than what I'm actually mixing here. Okay. Um, well, maybe not. But take a p portion of, you know, sa save your pile of dark, and then take a portion of it off to the side, and mix up a pile of gray that is the value of the paper. Okay. So now you have something else that is in common that you know a value that you're sure of. Um, so you just want to make sure that, you know, see that's too dark. So let's add more white. That's a little closer. A little more white. I'm using this Sennelier white. It's, it's really weak. <laughs> um, so you can see you need a lot of white. So there, that's the value of the paper. Um, so now that you have that as another kind of a known value, now you've set a little, uh, uh, set a small palette. Here you've got your middle gray, the value of your paper. You've got a little bunch of your dark, okay. And then you've got your white. So if it's, if it's just the paper from your copy, then you're going to be painting it that gray. Um, if it's chalk, then you're going to be dealing with uh, mixing values above that. And if it's charcoal, it's mixing values below. So with, with value, you're always trying to find something to com compare. Um, you always are comparing one value with another and so when you are sure of something then you can make good comparative decisions based on um, that sure decision <laughs> so um, go ahead and start your painting you can do it on a canvas panel um, if it doesn't exactly fit to proportions of 16 by 20 or whatever then um, then you can mask it off uh, I would recommend just getting some acrylic and mix up a gray and acrylic and tone the canvas. Doesn't have to be any specific value, but uh, tone the canvas and then transfer your drawing in the same way using the squaring up method. And um, so, if you have any questions, you can email me. <laughs> and uh, here's a just a quick turnaround of my studio. It's a very good ventilation here, and there's squirrels. All right, bye.